Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. In today's video, I wanna talk about the custom roller cups I have from Connor Hobson and not a company. So these are ones that were made by an individual that I first found on Instagram. And actually a lot of you guys tagged me in the post where he was posting the cups that he was making. Now for some context, because you guys know I'm big on that, if you're not familiar with what a roller cup is, it's basically taking the idea from a competition style combo rack, which has built-in rollers for the squat and bench catches. And what that allows you to do is shift the bar left or right or recenter the bar in between attempts. That way you can always make sure the bar's in the right position for the lifter who's lifting. Now, personally, I found these were very helpful at home because after a heavy set of squats, I wasn't really precise in re-racking the bar and that would lead me to unrack the next set pretty awkwardly and bang the post because for my rogue actual racks, they're three by three and about 49 inches wide and I was using a competition style barbell which had very thin collars, which means the weight plates were extremely close to the rack and if the bar wasn't centered, it would be very difficult to unrack efficiently without knocking the shit out of the rack. So this allows you to kind of get your preference and put the bar where you want it every single time. So I really think it has its use. I like it a lot. And for most lifters, I think it is beneficial. You might not think you need one or it's really necessary, but for me, it's one of those things of once you use it, you don't want to lose it, so. Is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? Is that a serious question? No, it wasn't. Okay. I find that they're very helpful. And this is one of the reasons that I actually pursued developing my own. You might remember on the blue rack I had in my old house, I had some custom ones that I had made. I chronicled all this on Instagram. And then as more and more people came out with it, it's really cool and people started posting their examples of what they were doing. A lot of you guys tagged me in it and that's how I saw a lot of it. And that's how I first came upon Connor's cup. So first of all, let me just quickly show you the cups that I have from him. They look like your standard J-hook. These ones are three by three, obviously, because my rack's three by three and has a one inch attachment because that's what the Rogue Monster Series has. I will say right off the bat, the nice thing about Connor and the fact that he makes all these cups is he will custom make them to any rack whatsoever. You might recall in the Go Strong equipment video I did recently, they only fit certain size racks. Connor has been known to make them for any rack, even if it's two by two, two by three, no matter what the brand name is, it's been able to be done, which is cool. Now, you might notice that I keep saying just his name. I'm not saying an a company equipment name. And that's because he's doing these in his free time, which is even more impressive in my mind. Because when you take a look at some of the build quality on these things, you'll see the welds are all done really nice. The paint job's done really nice on this. And one of the probably best things about this cup is how much attention to detail he put when it comes to UHMW, which is the plastic covering, basically going over any part of this cup that your barbell is ever going to touch which I haven't seen in a lot of other cups. It's one of the issues I had with my own. One of the issues I also kind of pointed out with Go Strong and the lip, you don't have any kind of covering there. With this cup, it's built like a tank. It's super heavy, compact, but is really going to do a good job of protecting your bar. He's also taken it a step further in this case with mine because I requested that he have UHMW on the inside, similar to all the other monster attachments. He's done that. And this thing not only protects the rack and protects the cup when it goes on and off, but because there's some extra padding in there, it actually makes the cup super secure going onto the rack itself and there's no movement whatsoever in it. Now, some of the other niceties of this actual cup that he's put in that he's since changed actually is there was initially a bearing within the roller itself. He's since stopped doing that just because he found that the cup spins just as good without it. And to be honest, this thing spins very good for what it is. Again, I've had several hundred pounds on here and it still moves left to right and is able to be recentered fairly easily, which is great. Now the roller itself right here, I believe it's just a nylon roller. This to me is probably the only real downside with this cup itself. I do find that nylon wears a little bit quicker. You can actually see it on there. And the fact that this piece of nylon is white, again, it shows wear very easily especially if you have like a really dirty barbell, you don't clean your equipment that often, it's gonna show dirt on there a lot more easily. Again, again, this is white and probably your other pieces are not. Now for this, like I said, he can custom make into anything. The pricing on these are really going to vary. Let me just get this right out of the way. These are not cheap. So for this particular version, which is what I would consider the Cadillac of what he does, because I don't think he's done many with actual UHMW on the inside before, this cost me $250 shipped. I believe for a regular one, which does not come with the UHMW inside, you're looking at $200 shipped. 
And again, you have to figure this is an individual making them himself. He's not doing large production runs. He gets an order in and he makes it in his spare time. I do believe he works with metal. That's how he has access to a lot of the stuff. But for the materials, his time, his effort, I still think this is a phenomenal price, especially when you start to consider some of the other stuff that's out there, like the Go Strong equipment cups, which I reviewed recently which retail for well over $300. So you're saving a lot more money. And in some cases, outside of the actual roller itself, I think you're actually getting just as good a cup, if not better, due to all the UHMW, the fit, and the fact that you can get it customized to fit any rack whatsoever out there. So if you're interested in a J cup type roller and you've seen the Go Strong equipment ones, you maybe think they're out of your price range. Maybe you've seen the ATX ones and it's overseas and you don't wanna ship it over. Or maybe you've seen the Bells of Steel ones, which are really nice, but only really fit their rack because it's 2.3 inches by 2.3 inches, and you just want something to give a shot, I would really highly suggest you go with these cups because they've quickly become my favorite roll cups. So much so, in fact, again, that I stopped pursuing my own because Connor did such a better job at a better price point. So if you're interested in getting these, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to link his Instagram and I'll also probably put his email in there. I will warn you though, again, he's an individual making these in his free time, so he might not be able to respond right away or there might be some bit of lead time with that. But again, I really don't think you can beat these and everyone that I know that have got them from him have been very receptive and very appreciative of how high quality they are. So if you have other questions on these specifically or other roll cups, please let me know in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.